Hello, uh, this is Sam Trayton again, um, speaking up for the um, American Sarama Association, um, and specifically about the guidelines for the Board of Directors election for 2020, which will be held in November. Um, there are guide guidelines. I will get to those in a minute, but I'll briefly show you this. Uh, and, and what you're about to see and hear about is the guidelines presented by Diane Brewer, our secretary. And um, it gives me a chance to explain the, the duties of the five offices up for election, starting with the uh, president. Uh, currently, Art Brock. And the president, of course, is the leader of the board of directors and of the organization and presents um, the agenda for the things that will happen in the coming years. The vice president, currently that's me. Um, I'm reminded of, um, I think, a quote from a previous vice president of the United States who said something like, um, the office is uh, about as valuable as a uh, paper, bag full, paper bag full of warm spit. And um, to some extent, that's true. The job of the vice president, of course, is to fill in for the president uh, in any absence. And um, also, the, the way that I see it from my point of view, and the way I have attacked it, is to, um, at our board member meetings, meetings, which are held either in conjunction with the show, where we're all attending, or um, by teleconference, when we discuss the various uh, items that need to be brought to the attention of the board and settled. Um, my approach has been to try to keep us, when we do that, um, on the topic at hand. Uh, and of course, that should allow for um, initial greetings to one another, especially when we're doing a, a telephone conference, um, so that we can exchange our latest uh, news and views on everything, uh, but that needs to be brought back around to uh, the item at hand. So that's the vice president. The secretary, that's Diane Brewer currently, this is a much, I would say more difficult than either the president or the vice president, a much more difficult office. This is the person, it's not like a secretary in a corporate setting who may take notes. Um, it's more like a secretary of state or a, a secretary of the Department of Defense. It's, it's broad. It covers a lot of uh, situations. And um, I'd consider it one of the most important um, duties. Then, of course, there's the treasurer. Um, and right now, that's Amy Bullock. The, the treasurer, of course, has to keep track of money, income and outgo, and have a place to store that money, a bank account. Um, the bank account has to be open for inspection by everyone in the board of directors. And obviously, that requires a person that you have the highest amount of trust in, and, and we do. Um, then, uh, what have I forgotten? Not intentionally. Um, the um, person who's in charge of uh, shows and show organization, um, and that has been Lorene Stanford, who left a, a little while ago for uh, very good personal reasons, having nothing to do with any um, problems she had, she had had with the board. 
And, and in fact, um, I have to say this, all of us, all members of the current board, n knew, came to know one another only through our connection to the Sarama. Uh, the Sarama Club, the American Sarama Association, um, is an affinity group. Our affinity is the bird, <laughs> the chicken. And um, we first met at different shows and different uh, at times and have since become very good friends. I mention that because it sounds like, oh, there are people that know one another, they're, uh, you know, an in-group. No, that's not the case. We didn't start out an in-group and we, um, we are an in-group now. And take that for what it's worth. Um, all right. It, this video is being um, uh, brought to the attention of the paying actual members of ASA. I will also distribute it to the separate Facebook organization group that follows um, ASA. These people uh, are not dues paid member members. They um, highly outnumber dues paid member members and I'd like to help change that by submitting this video and others um, to, to encourage those people to become members and um, become part of an organization of um, show people, breeders, and uh, raisers, people who have, who have purchased eggs or ceramas from um, reputable and good breeders and raise them on their own. There's room for everyone is what I'm trying to say. Now, to get to this um, guideline that Diane submitted to the board and has been approved, I'll, I'll show and read to you um, these guidelines. Now, I'm going to post um, a copy of this that you can read at leisure. Right now, I intend to read it and try to explain uh, what you're seeing. Uh, Diane writes, I feel we should ask for volunteers to send their names in to be put on the ballot. Um, the board all agrees with that statement, that um, what, we were, what we are truly looking for are volunteers, people that want to be actively engaged in running the, the club, the organization. Um, she goes on. Their name, the position they want to run for, how many years they have been a paid member. The point there is that in order to vote, you must be a paid member. Um, and if you want to run for any one of these offices, you should he have been here at least three years. They do not have to meet, they do have to meet the criteria to run for the Board of Directors. It is spelled out in the Constitu Constitution and bylaws, which states, number one, must be in good standing with the club. I don't think that needs further explanation. Number two, must have been active or are active with APA, American Poultry Association, or ABA, American Bantam Association, events about the American Sarama. Must have owned American Sarama. And at, at this point, I want to digress just a little bit about the term American Sarama. When we started this club, it was the form of Sarama that was currently available to us at the time, and that bird is not the same as one that all of us are working toward now, which is the Malaysian form, the, uh, if you want to call it, original form of the Sarama. Four, must be 18 years of age or older. 
and five to repeat must have been a member for three consecutive years. Now, she goes on to say, if more than one person is running for a position, then we would need to have an election. So if only one person comes forward and meets all that criteria, there's no need to have an election for that person. It doesn't make any sense. Um, if not, no election is required. Signed, Diane Smithson Brewer, Secretary, American Sarama Association, May 8th, 2020. 2020. So that about covers it for today. I will, as I said, uh, post that in both uh, Facebook places, the members page and the non-members open uh, ASA page. And um, shortly after, I will also post in the same locations an actual printed uh, version of Diane's statement. So there you are. You have a good day, and um, there may or may not be more videos as we move closer to the date. Thanks.